Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and this is the uh, follow up video to our uh, fixture design video. And in this one, I'm going to uh, create a stock model for this part, and then we're going to machine it. So, last video, we made this simple fixture, which is just a pocketed fixture that's a slip fit for this part, and around it is quarter 20 holes for clamps to hold the part in place. We made a bunch of them around so we can add and remove clamps as we see fit. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to make a model of the stock and then make that my stock model. So add another level tab stock model. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this to the next level. Copy to three. Okay. Now we want to basically extrude all these holes in. So we're filling in all the area that needs to be machined. Do create body 0 0.1, which is the thickness of the part. Click the check. Okay, so now in order to make this one solid piece, we're going to Boolean everything. So click right there, right click here, hit add, and start clicking away. Now there's a faster way to do this. You can just take the silhouette boundary of the part and extrude uh, the uh, shape as just kind of a rectangle. And then we can make that the stock model. But I wanted to show you guys this way just in case you guys have some really odd geometry you don't want to recreate from the ground up. check there, click the check here, one solid piece, now let's make sure, okay, perfect. So let's go to tool paths, uh, machine, mill, default, we'll call it 100 for op 1, we go to mill tool paths, this is how I do it, I right click, Mill tool paths, go down to stock model. And now I can click on model and click right here. Click right. See, I clicked on the top and that's not going to work. What we have to do is select the entire thing. So, in that 100 stock, so it's basically your op one stock. And it's on top plane, so that should work. And it looks like it created it. So, stock model is set. Now I can go back to levels, activate our normal part, ghost our stock model, or just toggle the display on and off. And now we can start machining this thing. So, we're going to pretend this is titanium. And we're just going to helix all these holes. So we'll do some helix and some contour ramp. Let's do let's 
to contour around for these. Toolpath, let's use a quarter inch for this one. Go to, just create our own tool. I'll show you guys a create tool. Flat end mill, that works. Next, 0 0.25, overall length, cutting length 0 0.75, let's try to make this kind of a believable looking end mill, show length 1, okay, next, okay, so make that tool 1, but when it comes to speeds and feeds, we'll pretend it's a 5 flute cutter, and for surface footage and uh, feed rate, we'll we'll type in something from ease and speeds and feeds. So we'll pretend it's titanium. And this is kind of just a range you can work with, something to get you started. So 0.25 surface footage. We'll go 150. Number of teeth five inch per tooth. Five. I'll go. 0 0.1237. Okay, so we're at 2308 inches a minute. Okay, 2300. Eight. Eight. Retract. I can be fast. Finish. Cut parameters. We will ramp. Go by depth. So every time it goes around the hole, we want to be. 20 thou deeper. For like aluminum, you can take a really, really uh, aggressive ramp. Prefer harder materials. If you take an aggressive ramp, it'll break down the teeth on your cutter. So you got to be smart. Like final depth. Linking parameters. Click the bottom. Add. Since this is a square end mill, we can add. Literally one thou, but we'll just be safe and go ten. Okay, good. Let's see what we messed up already. Okay, multi passes, none, cut parameters. Let's check the size of these holes real quick. So the holes are only a quarter inch. So we're gonna go down to we'll go down to an eighth inch. We'll save that quarter inch for some of the other holes. Create tool, flat end mill. 0.125. Okay. Next, next, next. All right. One, one two, five. One fifty-five. Zero, one, zero, 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 four. So we go forty-five hundred and nine inches a minute. Finish. Parameters will go 0 0.15, a little bit slower with it. Linking parameters, that looks good. Okay. So, produce a good toolpath, I think. What we can do is go up to here, simulator options, turn on our stock model we made. Now we're going to verify. And now, as you can see, we have our piece of stock. What I like to do is go into compare, and here you can set up tolerances to what is in tolerance and what's out of tolerance. So green is plus or minus 10. We'll hit the refresh button. So everything is actually in except the holes. 
and as we machine away the material it should turn green. Oh, I'll slow that down a little bit. Also pause that. Get rid of the holder. There we go. Our eighth inch is going to work. Awesome. So let's now that's done. Let's do size of this big hole. That's an inch. So let's do toolpath, dynamic, machining regions, right there. Stay inside. Let's grab our bigger tool. Quarter inch. Looks like the speeds and feeds are still there. Cut options. Step over. Since it's a harder material, we're going to keep it light to start. And stock to leave on walls. 0 0.01, so we can add a finish pass. Zero there. Linking parameters. Select the bottom. Add a little more. See what we get. So it's going to helix in. And let's go to entry motion real quick. Where is that? Okay, that looks good. Lighter helix. We just don't want it, the, it breaking on the way in. It's looking good to me. We're just in back part right now. We'll go back to verify later. Okay, so we can actually do a contour to finish it up. Tool, quarter inch, cut parameters, ramp. Do a more aggressive ramp because it's only 10th out. Linking parameters, that looks all good. Nice. Now, we'll go to dynamic, that's an eighth inch. So, I we'll have to find a smaller end mill. Maybe we'll just drill those. Okay. We'll do the same over here toolpath, contour. Select all these. And we will go with, so those are an eighth inch, so eighth inch is too big, too big, so we'll have to go to let's see what's in our library. Filter, none. Use this one, 3.30 second, and then we'll use a 1.30 second for the other ones. 3.30 second, we'll edit the tool, make it three, five fluter, it's like 93 thou, five tenths, right? 93 thou, seven tenths, five millions, okay. Okay, and then we we'll use the lower for the 0 0.1232, 6,000 and 6 inches per minute.
Okay. Finish. Cut parameters. Ramp. Two one zero one. Add a little bit more. Nice. It's looking good. Now finally. Let's do. Let's see if we can grab all these at once. This may backfire. We're going to try it. Okay, toolpath. Select library tool. Let's go really small on this one. Edit tool. That doesn't make any sense. Small like one inch. Cut length is more like 0 0.2. 0 0.3. Okay, next. Four. Easy speeds of feeds. Zero. Right. Okay. So speeds and feeds have changed significantly, but it's still the same surface footage. So it's going to be like crazy high because the tool is so small, which is actually correct. Believe it or not. So eighteen thousand. and then nine. nine nine finish cut parameters zero point zero zero seven I don't want to break this tiny little thing When I see it work perfectly. So, this is where stock model and verify will totally save us from scrapping apart. Select the whole thing and go over to verify and compare. Just watch this thing work. Awesome. So, plus 10, minus 10, we're within that tolerance zone on everything it looks like. You can make that plus 1 or minus 1 if you really want to get, um, and plus 1, minus 1 will actually reveal like if your tool's maybe cutting a little too much into a wall or exiting a little wrong, it will reveal that. So that's a good idea to mess with that. But from what I see, that looks perfect. And let's turn on a fixture. And we will turn off tool holder. So it's going to look similar to this in the machine. This is just a backplot view. Of course, you'll have clamps coming in right here and right here, maybe on this edge, on this edge, maybe right here, just holding on. So, you know, six to eight clamps slightly holding this thing in there. But yeah, that's how uh, that's how I would hold a really thin part and machine some holes. Uh, subscribe for more videos, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.